Hey guys, it's Victor Costa. Hope you're doing well. Someone on Facebook asked if I wouldn't mind talking a little bit about aging and bodybuilding and whether or not you can make gains past a certain age and also whether or not you can make gains after you've been training for a certain period of time. It's really two separate questions, but let's just talk a little bit about bodybuilding and aging. Now, oftentimes these questions are asked by someone who is in fear of not being able to continue to make gains beyond a certain age, the age that they've designated in their mind that it's challenging to make gains beyond, or they would like to justify the reason that they're not making gains. They'd like to find some information to support and buttress the whole idea uh, that they are, are having a challenging time making gains already. And you know, in life, it's really funny. You seem to, to find exactly what you're looking for. You know, um, if you want to find evidence to support a position that you've taken in your mind, you can go out on the internet and find evidence for that because that's what you're seeking. You can go find people who will support your idea and your notion. You'll find people who uh, agree with you. Uh, and then if you were looking for the contrary, you would actually be able to find that as well. So whatever position you're taking in your own mind is the information that you will attract and it is also the results that you will attract. Here's an example. Let's say that you've been so busy reading the articles about how the testosterone begins to dive past age 35. If you have really read that and you've absorbed that into your body and being and mind at a cellular level, do you really think that every time you go into the gym, there will be this zest and zeal for progress? Or will it feel like work in vain? Although I'm doing all of this work, I know in the back of my mind that I'm not going to progress because I know my testosterone begins to dive past the age of 35. Or let's say that you are already rocking and rolling and you are past the age of 35, but you never really give it much thought. You don't really think about your age ever. You don't really think about your testosterone level. Yeah, you've heard little things about how it may be uh, beginning to decline, but you're so busy wrapped up in your own virility, in the attacking of the workout, of the enjoyment of the workout, in the progression of your body, in, the, uh, in your identity, in how you feel strong and solid in yourself, and you're not looking for evidence to contradict how you really feel, you will manifest and create what you are thinking about. You will find the things that you're looking for. So it isn't always a matter of biology you tend to act in a certain way when you feel a certain outcome is predetermined. So whether or not the testosterone is declining, there can be two totally separate outcomes of both the same guy who's experiencing the same thing because one has chosen to focus on it and the other one has chosen not to focus on it. So now you may be thinking, what's the real answer? Want to hear the truth? The truth is that I've found that people have a challenging time making gains at a younger age than they do um, at an older age. I find guys now making greater gains between the ages of 35 and 40 than they have made between the ages of 20 and let's say 30. Um, the gains are more substantial. They know what they're doing. They have more hours and years underneath their belt. They've had some experimentation time. The muscle that they were putting on in those years may have come on quickly, but they all pretty much would admit that it came on so quickly that it didn't, wasn't really uh, substantial in the exact muscle tone and definition and texture that they'd like to keep. But both um, things are necessary. It's one, to keep a good attitude and to understand the maturity of the body and how muscles mature and how they develop. And it's also great to get that experience under your belt. So what is the net of all of this? Does it really make sense to read and really find all of the information about how you are going to fail or how to justify a reason to fail? Or would you be better off in your life just living your life and going for it and not too busy thinking about the alternative um, and why you can't achieve something? Wouldn't it be better to just be in the moment of feeling and trying your best regardless of what else could be going on inside of your body 
that you think may be hindering you. Why not focus on the outcome? Why not focus on the best of it as compared to I'm fighting against this? We're not really fighting against this. And there's tons of ways to keep the testosterone elevated through, uh, through later years. How about working out? That's one. Not um, being overweight is another one. Sleeping a lot and sleeping enough is another one. And eating right. I mean, these are things that are not um, something that I came up with. These are things that are all over the web. Um, they are also common sense. Aren't they the same things that would keep um, our health and virility at any age? It sort of makes sense. So let's forget about the line of demarcation, where you begin to fail or where things begin to get harder. I'm finding guys, I mean, you, you see some of the television stars and the movie stars in their 40s and 50s and even 60s. Please don't tell me that they're all on steroids. I know some of these guys' personal lives and they're not. There's some really terrific looking athletes beyond the age of 50, beyond the age of 60, beyond the age of 70. And if you do some searches on YouTube and Google, you'll find them as well. Um, people who are not professionals, <clears throat> they are also not necessarily in the public eye, but every now and then they show up and it shows you what the body is capable of just about any age. So let's not worry about that going forward. And let's not also think that guys below a certain age cannot develop certain muscle maturity and texture and so on. You know, every now and then a bodybuilding physique is coming up and it's applauded for its maturity at such a young age. And a, in real life, a gentleman who is beyond the age of 35's physique is applauded because he is beyond the age of 35. So you know what I'm getting at. You know, there's some great books about this stuff, you know, um, and I think that it's something to focus on. Let's focus on the positive things going forward instead of looking for and finding articles and information to support a limitation. Let's look for articles that support moving beyond the limitation. And I think that you're going to be much, much happier. Uh, and like I said, it's not been my personal experience, uh, both for myself, physically, for the clients that I have. And a lot of the people on this page will probably also support that too. So um, I wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at Vix Natural. Say hello on Facebook. And you've got my support. All the best. Bye.